and having a fantastic week so far. So for today's video, I've got another review for you guys, and this one is actually going to be my first foundation review. Yay! <laughs> I know that all of my reviews pretty much so far have been lipstick or lip product reviews and those are actually one of my favorite ones to do just because I like trying on different lip products and lip products in general are just my favorite makeup product to buy. But of course I want to give you guys some variety and I do try a lot of other products, I just don't always film them. So I wanted to put up a video showing you guys a review on a new foundation at the drugstore and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Now, for those of you who know me, you know that I'm about as oily as they come when it comes to my skin. And so when I saw that L'Oreal came out with a new foundation and that it was a matte foundation, I just had to try it out. I've been using the L'Oreal True Match for years. It was the first foundation that I ever bought when I first started using makeup. But it doesn't always work that great with my oily skin because my skin is crazy oily so when I saw that they came out with this and I saw it at the drugstore I was like um yes I'll give it a try so I am really really picky about my foundations and I have yet to find a foundation that really stays matte on me for an extended period of time there are lots of foundations out there that claim to be 24 hour 8 hour or just all these different claims of how long they'll stay matte on your face I personally have yet to find a foundation that actually holds up to that claim, but I'm always open to trying new foundations, and this one says that it's supposed to be a 24-hour foundation. So I have actually been using this foundation for a couple of weeks now. As I said, I'm really picky with my foundations, and so I really wanted to take the time to really use this so that I could give you guys a thorough and honest review outside of just wearing it one time under one condition and just going with that I really wanted to really wear it and use it and wear it out in the elements so that I could really tell you guys all my oily monsters out there how it really works and performed on my skin so of course I went to their website just to get a product description for you guys just so that you know what it actually claims to do before I actually tell you how it actually worked for me and my opinion on the product the color that I have is the shade Classic Tan, and this product actually comes in nine different shades, and I believe the darkest shade that they have is Soft Sable, which is a couple shades darker than me, so I was a little bit disappointed with the color selection just because I know there's such a wide range of the True Match foundation. Now, if this one does well, then of course they may come out with more shades, but as of right now, there are only nine different shades of this product. And what it claims to do is have long wear without the compromise. Never masky, never cakey, never dull. Infallible Pro Matte is L'Oreal's new generation of long wearing makeup. The micro sponge technology absorbs excess oil and shine to create a dimensional matte finish without the need for a heavy caked on look. Use a sponge to buff it out for a sheer and natural look or apply in layers for more complete coverage. So that is what the foundation claims to do. I will say that I personally have been buffing mine in with a brush. If you have used the foundation and you've used a sponge, please share in the description bar below or in the comment section below how that's worked for you. I have been an avid sponge user for the longest. I was using my Real Technique sponge to apply foundation and my Beauty Blender sponge to apply foundation. But lately, I've just really been enjoying using my Kabuki brushes again. And so that is what I use to apply this foundation to my face. So let's go ahead and jump into the demo and then I'll be back to share with you guys how I feel about the product.
So before I jump into my opinion about the product, I did want to mention to where I got it and how much I paid for it because I forgot to mention that in the beginning. I purchased mine from Walgreens. I haven't really been on the lookout for it anywhere else, but the local Walgreens in my area has been coming out with so many different new products and they've been keeping them pretty well stocked and rolling them out in a pretty decent amount of time. So that's where I've been kind of stalking and trying to see what is new and what has come out. So I picked mine up from Walgreens and it did cost me about $12 which is a little bit expensive for a drugstore foundation, but I think for what it claims to do and the fact that it was new, that may have been part of the pricing for it, but I definitely thought that it was a little bit expensive. Also in this L'Oreal Infallible line, they do have a powder that you can set it with as well and a setting spray that you can set it with as well. I personally did not pick up the powder or the setting spray just because I do have a L'Oreal setting powder already and I just didn't feel like I needed it. And the setting spray, I had watched some other reviews about it and hadn't really heard amazing reviews on it. Um, now there may be some other great reviews out there. I didn't watch a whole bunch, but the ones that I watched um, didn't say that it was really that amazing and the setting spray was also a little bit pricey. So I just decided to focus on the foundation since that was the main thing that I really wanted. So as far as the application of it, this foundation applies really, really smoothly to the skin and buffs out really nicely. It doesn't dry super fast, but once you kind of buff it in and you let it kind of settle into the skin, it does dry pretty matte. Like I said, and like you saw in the demo, I do apply it with a brush, and basically all I do is I just squeeze it out onto a flat surface, dip my brush into it, and then apply it onto my face. I did go ahead and apply my primers as well as um, concealer in a few spots just to cover up some um, darkness that I have on my face just because like I said I've been using the foundation and I know what kind of coverage I like. I like a very flawless finish and so I almost always apply concealer underneath just because this does not claim to be a super super full coverage foundation. It actually claims to be more of an air airy light kind of foundation and so I just went ahead and prepped my face beforehand. When I apply the rest of my makeup on top it applies really really smoothly on top of the foundation and once everything is applied and settles into your skin the foundation itself looks absolutely stunning on your face. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I remember the first time that I applied it and after I did the rest of my makeup and I was kind of looking at my face in the mirror, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous on the skin. Like once, like I said, when it settles into your skin, it looks really, really, really gorgeous. Now, <laughs> what I will say is I am, like I said, very, very oily, like super crazy oily. This foundation claims to be a 24 hour foundation. It is not, at least for me, it was not a 24 hour foundation. I would give this foundation a solid six hours and that's generous. I would say maybe four to six hours and again, that's for me. I'm very, very oily and I, I'm just really oily. It just is what it is. So I know how, I, like I said, I've used a lot of foundations. I know how they settle into my skin. I will say that this is one of the best, though, foundations that I've used that seem to be matte. It's definitely one of the best, and it definitely lasted the longest as far as um, the length of time that I was able to wear it, and it still looks nice on my skin. But definitely at that four hour mark, and for sure at that six hour mark, it, my face was oily and I needed to absorb some of the oil off of my face and powder my face. Now, that's not necessarily something that I am bothered by because like I said, I'm very oily and that's just something that I've gotten used to as part of my life that I'm going to have to powder my face throughout the day and I'm just not going to have a foundation that is a 24 hour wear. But I will say I was slightly disappointed because it did claim to be 24 hours and I was really excited and hoping that it would actually hold up to that claim. 
but like I said it did hold up much better than a lot of my other drugstore foundations so I would give this foundation an 8 out of 10 I will say that I would probably definitely still purchase it just because out of all the drugstore foundations that I've tried this one would probably definitely be in my top five or my top three um, just because the finish right after you apply it is stunning and it does have a decent wear um, and it may have lasted longer had I used the um, pro matte powder along with it I don't know you guys let me know if you've used the foundation with the pro matte powder how that worked out for you and also if you're not super super oily like me I think that this foundation would work fantastic for you if you are on the less oily side or if you're on the combination skin side I think that this foundation would be stunning on you and would last much longer than the time that it lasts on me so I'm definitely not giving it a thumbs down just a little disappointed because it did claim to be 24 hour and I only got about four to six so I think that's everything that I have to say about this product if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and if you found this video helpful please be sure to give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye